What's up, you fuckheads? How we doing? Welcome to another video recap. I've been lacking. I've been sucking as a damn uh, fantasy football commissioner. That is on me. I apologize. Two weeks ago, we had the big uh, hurricane. Last week, just kind of got by me. But this week, I'm fucking here, baby. Here we go now. So welcome to the, I guess it's week five video recap of this season. It is fucking bananas. Uh, we've got Devontae Adams currently um, has a, a minor felony for beating up a cameraman, basically. And then not only that, but we have some people that really suck in this league, and we have some people that are doing phenomenal league. And not only that, but the Nimrod, Mr. Potato Princess, who did not have a first or second round pick. Shout out to Ken, who fucking lost to him. And then shout out to Hans Bellflower, who fucking lost to him, which we will get to this week. Um, so yeah, let's just hop right into it and let me fucking begin with this fucking shit show of my goddamn team. Like, this shit pisses me. Man, this pisses me off. I should have had a decent outing, but I will say at least Waffle King put up a pretty good score to beat my ass where I went at least I didn't lose by like four points and I should have won at least I lost by like 18 points or 20 21 points and I just it was not gonna happen for me possibly but should have done a lot fucking better man I was so pissed off um so let's start off I had a score of 91.56 points and I swear to god I thought I was gonna score like 60 this week because that's what it was looking like Thank God I had some good running backs, but still didn't quite eke it out. So Waffle King beat me 117.56 points to Top Gun. That's me, a.k.a. King Kamish. Uh, oh, we had 91.56 points. Let me go ahead and get you started with this shit show with team. Jared Goff, I'm sorry, the number one offense in the NFL couldn't score more than fucking zero points in this fucking game. How stupid is this shit? 5.86 points. Piss me off. CMC quietly having himself a year, just kind of doing his thing, even with a shitty fucking team. I wonder what's going to happen now that the head coach is fired. But he had 19.90 points. Jeff Wilson still kicking ass right now. Um, 22.70 points. CD Lamb, 7.80 points. Amon Ross St. Brown, 3.80 points. Don't get me fucking started. Mark Andrews had 18 points, which thank God. And then Christian Kirk, 1.6 points. And guess who I fucking sat on the bench? Mr. Olave. Because guess what he scored? 13.4 points. So basically, you add up, and I shit you not, 10, 11. Basically, you add up my quarterback and all three wide receivers I played this week, and they scored almost basically the same amount of points as Olave did on my fucking bench. That's stupid. Fucking piss me off. But anyway... I digress. I'm off my soapbox. Patterson got me three points as a kicker. Vikings D got me eight. But he whooped my ass with old man Brady, 22.7. Zeke, 7.8. James Robinson, 4.9. Devontae Adams, man, 27 fucking points. And they still lost. Holy shit. He's regretting leaving Green Bay now. Uh, Tyree Kill, 9.4 points. I'm not going to lie. He looked kind of banged up halfway through the game. He kept playing, but he didn't look the same. Wonder what's going on there. Tyler Clon Conklin, zero points. Hollywood Brown, Marquise Brown, 17.8. Dan Carlson, 12 points. And the Niners D got you 15 fucking points. But you know what? You definitely whooped my ass this week. You almost had the OEA lineup of the week. Almost. Next up, one of the main events that we fucking had this week, it was Hans Buckflower. Versus Potato Princess, his truly whooping that ass. Um, 82.26 points, and Potato Princess had 112.66 points. Hans Buckler letting us down, man. Derek Carr, 17.9 points. Devin Singletary, 5.1 points. J.K. Dobbins, 4.4 points. Justin Jefferson, 27.32 points. And you still couldn't win. Uh, Cortland Sutton, 9.9. .9, Dallas Goddard, 13.5. TJ Hawkstrap coming back to earth, cratering back to earth, 1.1 points because they score any fucking touchdowns. 
Bass got you four points as a kicker, and the Eagles D got you three. Kirk Cousins lighting it up on your bench. David Montgomery got you 16 points, and I don't know why you didn't play David Montgomery, but that's cool. On the flip side, run it all over you. Jalen Hurts, 27.66. Damian Harris, 1.7, got banged up. Raheem Mostert, 90% snap count, 70 or 90%. I forgot which one it is, but he got 21 Point seven points, and they rested on their third string quarterback, which is basically their water boy. Mike Williams is 21.4. Michael Shipman got you 8.4 points. Tyler Higby, 8.1. Bobby Trees, 5.7. McManus, love that name, three points. And the Broncos D got you 15. Whooping that ass, just keep pounding on Hans Bud Plower. He came out hot, but has been on a, a one game losing streak. He's three and one, now he's three and two. Now we have the donkey fucking lineup of the week, and thank God he finally fucking won a game. Ladies and gentlemen, the ball buster is off the mat, guys. He's no longer 0-4. He's not 0-5. He is 1-5 thanks to this fucking moron across from him. Mr. All We Suck Again, a.k.a. Joel Lucas, who's also 1-4 uh, after this week, too. So it looks like those guys, that might have been the penis trophy uh, bowl right there. We don't even know it. Um, no, Joel, 77.78 points, and Ball Buster had 101. So all we suck again had Joe Burrow for 18.2. James Carter got banged up, 6.8. Jamal Williams, 5.6, and they didn't score a touchdown. Fuck them. Debo Samuel, 10.2. Mike Evans, 10.10. David Njoku, 11.8. Brandon Cooks, four points. Brandon Mayer, five points. Jaguars D got you six. Lawrence got you 12 on your bench. ETN got you 12 on your bench. I mean, those are much better. Well, not, not uh, Lawrence, but ETN for sure. On the flip side, Justin Herbert, 14.4 points. Joe Mixon, 10.3. Leonard Fornetti, 30 burger, dropping burgers, 30.9. Jerry Judy, 6.8. Devin Duvernay, Duvernay. What a French ass name. 11.6 Skittle Me Timbers hasn't done shit this year because I got him in like one league and I'm just, you can't not play him. What the fuck do you do? Do you play like Conklin over his ass? I don't fucking know. 4.2 points. Miles Sanders, 7.4. Nick Folk, 8 points. Rand D got you 8 points and it was just enough to ink out a win against the donkey fucking lineup of the week. Congratulations. Oh, we suck again. Next up. We have got uh, Crimson Tide, the Tua, Tua Legit to Quit versus Publix Baker Mayfield. It's kind of funny. Um, Mr. Tua Legit to Quit won and beat Publix Baker Mayfield 118.962 points to 93.78 points. Tua Legit to Quit had Josh Allen drop a 40 fucking burger, 41.16 points. Najee Harris sucks, man. 5.10 points. Hines stuck in dick. Also, he went out like first drive. 1.3 points. Waddle, they are just struggling to get the ball downfield. 3.8 points. T, motherfucking Higgins, zero points. Ouch. Travis Kelsey, though, dropping a 30 burger. George Davis, Gabe Davis, excuse me. I don't know how you played Gabe Davis in a flex over other people, but good for you, bro. With some balls. Greg Joseph got you negative one points because he missed two field goals like an idiot. And the Saints D got you five. It was enough to eke out a win against Publix Baker Mayfield, who had Aaron Rodgers get 15.88, Aaron Jones nine points, Damian Pierce 18 points, Chris Godwin 9.3, George Pickens 11.3, Zach Hurts 7.8, DJ Moore 8.7, Ryan Suck at four, and the Bills D got you nine points. Phenomenal. Wasn't quite enough to beat him. Now we've got probably the closest matchup of the week, and I feel like JVib is in a close matchup every freaking week, and I don't understand it. I don't know how he has any hair left, but he didn't quite beat him. It was, in fact, uh, Team Unicorns and then some that beat him 111.98 points to 109.96 points. So close. But Unicorns pulled it out with Patrick Mahomes going for 30 burger, 30.8. Derrick Henry almost a 30 burger at 29.2. Uh, Saquon Barkley, probably the best running back this year, 18.1. Terry Scary McLaurin, 10.10 points. Drake London, 5.5. Friar Move, 2.2. 2. 
AJ Dillon, 3.4. What a disappointment. McPherson, four points. Bucks D got you nine points. Ja Reynolds going off on your bench, which I don't understand that either. I don't play him either. On the flip side, Carson Wentz, 22.86 points. Austin Eckler had himself a hell of a game, 36.9 points. And then you had Chubb go for 28 points. That's like 80 or 90 points right there. And you still lost because why? A.J. Brown went for 4.7. Jordan Wilson, 4.2. I don't know who Morris is for Buffalo, but he's ridiculous. 2.4. Um Jamar Chase, so Cincinnati had a shit game, 8.5. Badgley got you zero points as a kicker, and Packers B got you two. Wasn't enough. And then last but not least, we have the oh yeah lineup of the week playing Mr. Team Young Ho over here. Team Young Ho, two and three, uh, scored 114.20 points. And the oh yeah, Mr. Hagan, 155.46 points. Woo! Man, uh, Young Ho, 17.20 points. Dalvin Cook, 25.10. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is finally showing up like he normally does. Five points. Diggs, 23.2. DK Metcalf, 14.3. Waller, Waller got zero points. I have no idea what the fuck is going on there because he didn't even play half the game. And he wasn't even on the injury report. I don't fucking understand, dude. Kamara got you 22.4 points. But Waiku got you negative one. Ravens D got you eight. And you got ran the fuck over by Lamar Jackson, 15.76. Brees Hall. Whew. Brees Hall, man, almost a 30 burger, 29.7. But you know who did drop one? Josh Jacobs, 30.80 points. Cooper Cup, 25.40. Mari Cooper looking good, 17.10. Kyle Pitts at zero, zero, zero points. I don't know. He was hurt, I think. I don't understand what's going on there, man. Adam Thielen, 4.7 points. Justin Tucker, 9 points. Cowboys D got you 23 points. Damn. Looking good, man. Kind of the standings right now. We've got two guys, three guys, three guys at four and one. It's two of legit to quit, Waffle King and Team J Viv in the house. And what's funny is every one of them, there are three, at least three people that are four people that have more points. Oh, no, I apologize. That's points against. I apologize. Um, no, you guys look, you have good points for. Points against is a little lacking, but that's fine. Four and one. Team Hagen is three and two, as well as Hans Bud Plower. And then we have one, two, three, four, five people at two and three. We are within one game of making the playoffs and one game of the Penis Trophy right now. Congratulations, everybody. Mr. Young Ho, Unicorns, me, and Potato Princess, along with Publix Baker Mayfield, and pulling up the rear, the two idiots that played each other this week, the two bottom dwellers, they're one and four each. We suck, and all we suck again. That's hilarious. So that is this week's video recap. Let's go to the weekly report. Uh, Josh Allen had 41 points, some of the high scores this week. Running backs was Austin Eckler, 36 points. Gabe Davis was 33.6. Kelsey was 30 points. Carlson was 12. Cowboys D was 23 points. And then the bench warmers who scored the most points this week was Cousins, 23 points. Ramadre Stevenson, 21. Uh, Lockett, 27.9 points. Robert Tanyan, four. Uh, Budker is zero points. And Bengals are three. Most efficient manager, obviously, was Hagen, 155 points. Jay Crable was the least efficient. He should have scored 149 points. He only scored 112. Highest points in loss, 114, which sucks. Lowest points in the win was 101.08 points by Ballbuster, as we all well know. Hagen, 155 points, biggest blowout. Narrowest victory, we talked about Jay Viv and Unicorns and then some. Hagen, again, overachiever, and Mel Joel was the biggest underachiever of this week. I am not doing so hot in team performances as far as the maximum points that I can get. I need to step it up. But that is this week's video recap. I'm glad this week, this year is underway. Man. We're doing a pretty good job. We're getting excited. It's going to be a long year, fellas. I hope you guys are having fun. And true to form to all you motherfuckers, Billy Billy. <laughs>